1999 Suburban K1500 5.7 liter If you want to come back in over here, remove a plastic cap off a Schrader valve, stick a small screwdriver in there and put a rag over it and carefully relieve the fuel pressure. Okay, that's the back of the car, rear wheel, that filter. We've cut that gas line with a tubing cutter. This is that cross member that goes across. So that fuel filter was held in with a bracket right here. That's the line going to the back. The line going up front is a steel line connected to a flexible hose. We've got that one cut with a tubing cutter. This is what that bracket looks like that was holding that fuel filter in there. Two bolts to the frame, fuel filter inside there. There are brake lines that go into the back of this clamp. So you have to pull those brake lines out to get some room so you can spin your tubing cutter in there. Little tubing cutter action there. Get things adjusted to the right length and then spin and tighten, spin and tighten. And eventually it'll just fall off. Now a slight ream job. Trying not to let it fall into the filter. We ended up getting two of these little four inch repair line kits and then took a tubing cutter and cut this thing off. Not on this side. But this side we cut off with a tubing cutter I believe these are intended for a 3 8 inch fuel line to slip over the top here and then go down until it hits that. Then you put your hose clamp right here where my fingers are at. But these were nice and cheap. They were an add-on item from Amazon so it was a lot cheaper than buying the 18 or $22 kit that had a really long piece of tube and some kind of shield that comes with it. This fuel filter was on there so incredibly tight. This end was already boogered up, so that end was never going to come out. This end over here, we were able to get the flare nut wrench on it and pull on it, but I think you can see we pulled so hard it actually bent the pipe coming out of the filter, but that was not going to break loose. So our only choice was to basically cut the pipe and then use some compression fittings to cut in a new filter. There was a little bit of art and kind of measuring and deciding where to cut the existing pipes and how to figure out where this thing should best go in there. But at the end of the day, commonly available parts, you can splice in a new filter either on one side or both depending on what you can get out.